What we intend to do with uh, the patients treated in this study is to treat aortic regurgitation. So far, we do not have any transcatheter, transfemoral system to treat aortic regurgitation. For aortic stenosis, it's, it's a well-established technique, transcatheter uh, replacement, but for aortic regurgitation, it is not. Why is this? This is because in aortic regurgitation, we do not have much of calcium, which can hold a, a valve just by radial forces. And we have large annuli, a large anatomy, which not enables us to use the conventional valve so far. And therefore, a new valve which has been developed might be of particular interest. A valve which does not need radial forces to fix and stay in position, but which has locators which clip the original cusps in between the processes and these locators. So this was an early feasibility study with a processes and the delivery system which has not been used in this disease so far. So we aimed at looking at uh, efficacy and safety of this valve and the delivery system in patients with pure aortic regurgitation. So in these 12 patients we treated, we had no mortality and we had no strokes. One patient had to be converted um, to conventional surgery due to dislodgement of the valve and another patient received uh, a pacemaker due to left bundle branch block. With respect to efficacy, we saw that the only remaining issues with respect to regurgitation were mild or trace residual aortic regurgitation after 30 days and, um, uh, and very well-preserved uh, functional class in these patients. So safety as well as efficacy were quite substantial in, in, in this uh, limited cohort of patients and we would be very optimistic seeing in larger populations the same. If we are able to demonstrate uh, safety and efficacy in a larger cohort of patients in the Europe uh, population as well as in a parallel trial which is ongoing in the US, then I think we have with this valve, we have a unique treatment option for patients who so far do not have a transcatheter option of treatment. As for every transcatheter valve, we are very eager to learn what's the durability of this device in the long run. So we will for sure look at these patients not only for six months or a year, but also for longer time points.